task of reducing the aspirants to five falls on less than 1,000 party members composed of the National Council, the National Executive Committee, the Regional Executive Committees, the National Council of Elders, members of Parliament, past national officers, three representatives from each external branch, founding members present during the party's registration at the Electoral Commission, and all new patriotic party card-bearing ministers during the party's governance. Political analyst and poster Musa Dankwa asserts the delegates have already made their decisions on which candidates to vote for. Superdelegates are not general delegates that you can really convince. These people largely have made up their minds. I don't think you, your message can really make a lot of difference. Just that who you are and your interaction with the government machinery is what will make a difference in this case. Adainimo, Joe Gatte, stand out as political veterans and Kujusa Fuopoku with relatively fewer years of political experience. For the Executive Director of Global Info Analytics, two-time flag bearer hopeful, former Member of Parliament and engineer Adainimo has slimmer chances of securing a place within the top five. He doesn't have that government machinery contact or interactions. I mean, he's been out of uh, I won't say politics, uh, not being an MP for quite some time, is not being a government appointee. So the chances of him interacting with this superdelegate is very minimal and limited. So I don't expect him to have many friends in the superdelegate that would put him on top. According to him, the chances of energy expert Kujun Safuapoku, the fresh face of the lineup, are equally slim. These are a group of people that you normally interact with if you are in government. And Kojopoku hasn't been part of this government. He is complete outsider. And he's not even a former parliamentarian that would say that maybe from his work as parliamentarian, he would have had an interaction with these group of people in the past. So I would definitely count him out from this top five. Conversely, lawyer, former Attorney General and former Second Deputy Speaker of Parliament and Railways Minister, holds a plausible chance in the competition, according to the political analyst and poster. Joe Gatti has been former government appointee during the Kufour administration, a former attorney general, and a very astute lawyer as well. And then you have him also being a member of this government in the first term. Being a minister of railway development, he would have had interaction with these appointees at the point in time. And he didn't fall out of the government. So on that basis, I believe he could be one of them. Ultimately, the fate of these flag bearer hopefuls, along with the remaining seven aspirants, rests with the 956 delegates who will cast their votes during the Super Delegates Congress scheduled for August 26.